Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Daddy with Creative and I am here with another Julia Housing layout. Yay! I am winding down to finish up my book before 2020 is over. Regardless of what day this video is up, they will be done. Yay! So I am actually on number 43 that I'm going to show you. I needed 48 to complete the book that I thought in 2017 when I was in the collab. And, and then I did, you know, quite a few pages and I stopped and I had like half the book to do. So, I finally decided to really, the last couple of days, focus and knock out these layouts. And I'm excited because I'm going to finish this book. And I'm also going to continue because I still have tons of jewelry nuttings that I haven't used. And it inspires me to continue to use them in different ways. And it's just a stress for me because I enjoy fussy cutting and things like that. So, um, I use three napkins. You know, they come out in size four, but I already cut them in half, so of course it would be larger than this. I iron my um, napkins when I use them so that they are as wrinkle-free as possible. And I cut them in half. These <coughs> actually were cut in half, then I cut them in quarters. And what I did was I put um, my seam together, like the tree and the tree. So I could use both sets of animals, um, the zebras, as well as the giraffes. And then I just thought this would be some nice background. And so what I did was I used Imani. Um, so this was been like she's on a um, you know safari, and I used some glue, some gold letters um, as background. So I colored her with my Spectrum Wars. I used this stamp um, onto the skirt. I, I did a double layer. So I, I stamped her in the white, then I stamped her on another piece of white, and I just used that on top of it, and then on top of it, then I colored that with some Spectrum Noir. Um, and I will show you that. So I use my matte medium to adhere um, <clears throat> the napkin to my um, paper. So as you can see here, I merged the two together, the two napkins, and I just filled in the tree. And um, I just used a border to go around it. And brown. I use my uh, my big my pit. I keep saying big my pit pen um, to outline it. I use these gold um, thicker letters that says go on a safari and I put a money here and just made some full grass that's dripped with some green paper just to break up some of the brown. Um, I made a couple extra little birds up in here. They had some already stamped but I made like two extra ones. And um, of course when you use your, your Spectrum of the World on the um, napkin they bleed slightly a little bit so I didn't want to do too much coloring up there but I just put a couple and I just went over the animals in the tree a little bit just to get a little bit more. So that is my final project. I love it. Uh, I love like um, like I showed you the one with um, uh, Kyoko in the Asian background and then this one uh, more of an, an African background again to go with Amani. So like the ethnicities and the things that you can do with them. So that is that layout and of course I will have you some on my Instagram, my Pinterest and um, the playlist below. Hopefully this will inspire you to use your jewelry nuggets in different ways using your napkins. I know I have tons of them. So um, I will continue to do my next book and use more napkins and other things in my other art journal uh, with my jewelry nuggets and stuff as well. So I will continue to finish, the, you know, to do this. I'll do a flip through at the end as well. Anyway, that's Miss Amani. So, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.